It's the Memorial Day long weekend here in the U.S. While the U.S. dollar struggles to recover from the hits it took last week thanks to weak U.S. economic updates, continued expectations of unlimited support from the Fed, and rising tensions between the U.S. and China. Meanwhile, the Aussie dollar had mostly a good week thanks to positive risk sentiment. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. While most traders take a break on Monday in America, Germany will release its GDP and IFO business climate data. Today I'm looking at the Kiwi Yen pair. After New Zealand reported zero coronavirus cases, the Kiwi started to rise and it broke above the daily Ichimoku cloud last Wednesday. And then saw a temporary pullback, which is common move after a break above the Ichimoku cloud. On Monday during the early Asian hours, the pair started to bounce off the upper band of the cloud at 65.44. If the bullish sentiment continues, we could see further gains towards the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of 67 in the medium term. Now, do you think the Kiwi Yen pair will go back to consolidation or do you think this new bullish sentiment is here to stay? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, you're in the financial markets involved the risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.